What is this? This is a compost tea brewer I just finished. And uh, maybe I should explain a little bit how it works. Yes, please. It's uh, basically an IBC container. This is a standard container that is used for uh, floating stuff. It contains 1000 liters. Yes. Or 250 gallons. And, uh, but I'm gonna use it as a compost tea brewer. And the, the thinking there is that you, what you do is you basically create a compost uh, according to very specific um, method described by Soil Food Web and Dr. Elaine Ingram. So the, the target there is to get as much uh, microbial life as possible in the compost. And you want to have a specific number of uh, bacteria, you want to have fungi, you want to have uh, protozoa, and you want to have uh, nematodes in the solution. And you use a microscope to make sure that you do have enough of everything there. And once that finished, you take um, the part that I haven't finished here yet, uh, it's you take a, a, a bag of this compost and you put it on top here and you fill the, this container with water and then you start the pump and start pumping air through it for like 24 hours or more depending on what you want to achieve if you want a, if you want an extract and you want it to uh, not have so much glue on the, the surface of the microbes then uh, you, you do it a short time uh, that could maybe if you want to spray it on soil and you want it not to stick on the surface but maybe go a bit lower then you do an extract if you want to spray it like a foliar spray on the on the surface of plants you you uh, brew it a little bit longer to create more of a sticky surface on the microbes so they will stick to the leaves they land on <laughs> you're running around so much um just a few words about this construction. I have uh, spent some time watching at YouTube what how people do it, and uh, this is my version. What I want to achieve here is, of course, uh, a throw of, of flow, flow of air up here in the middle that will hit the bag that will be here, so it will stir and uh, release the microbes from the, from the compost and make them uh, multiply into the solution. That's what this this middle pipe is for. And then I also want to make sure that I do, I do have a movement in the bottom so I, I put a frame down there and there are holes aimed inwards 45 degrees to the bottom to just to try to make sure that I don't, since we have a square bottom here, we uh, want to make sure that we don't get things stick to the bottom, which we will anyway, but so a conical uh, solution is better, but we take what we have. Uh, the thinking here is that you get a kind of a vortex here when since the, the holes are only inwards not outwards only inwards So we will have a kind of a vortex uh, Movement here that it, this starts a movement it goes outside it comes down there and the The agitation or the stirring helps it to create this kind of movement uh, There's a couple of things I wanted when I built it. I, I I've seen some solutions where I have the motor and the things on the top here I prefer to have it open to make it easier to clean. If you, this is pretty easy to clean. If you have a high pressure washer with a rotating uh, head in it, it's pretty easy to just put it here and they get everything out from under here. If you have it covered here, it's more difficult to get under and make it properly clean. Because uh, as Dr. Elaine Ingram says, you don't want any bad guys in the, in the solution. You only want good guys. So, um, one thing I also I, I did want to have to accomplish was to, to be able to regulate between the stirring and the, the actual pumping. So I put these these two volts here. So this this wall obviously go to the agitator, the stirrer, and then this one goes to the to the uh, main airflow. So um, I, I I want to be able to put the uh, the airflow in the middle so I get a proper brewing kind, not uh, not too little, not too much. And then I can regulate the stirrer to make sure that uh, it's, it's in a good proportion. Uh, this is a 1000 litre pump and it says uh, this is a 1000 litre tank. So I'm basically pumping 1000 litre per minute for a 1000 litre tank, which, which I, my calculations say it should be what, what, what is needed. Uh, apart from that, it's nothing special. I try to make it as simple as possible. But uh, that's the, the aim is basically to multiply the microbes to create the solution and uh, in this case it's one, 1,000 liters. 
So uh, just think that if I if I mix it with uh, another 1,000 liters of clean water, I will have a solution probably for 10, 15, maybe 20 hectares. So uh, that's the aim for this year to start spraying out, get the microbes going in the soil. That's it.